Hi, my name is Emeh Kumar. I'm a Senior Solutions Architect with AWS Team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Translate service through .NET. Let's get started. So this is a simple ASP.NET Core application that is hosted on um, Elastic Beanstalk. This is a blogging website that can convert English language text to Spanish language content. So basically, the um, uh, architecture is that we have an ASP.NET website, ASP.NET Core website that's hosted on Elastic Beanstalk, which is um, uploading files of this content to Amazon S3. A Lambda function picks up based on the um, event trigger that happens on S3 and, and calls Amazon Translate function to translate this content to Spanish and writes the files back into a different folder on the same S3 bucket. Uh, imagine you having a website that can host blog posts and you don't have to, and Spanish or other language users can obviously see the content in their own language. So you can easily go to the Spanish language uh, content by adding uh, the query string lang equal to es and it shows the Spanish content. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the home page of the English language um, page and add a new post and see how this works. I have some sample content here. I'm going to copy, paste in the content text box. I'm going to say solar system and uh, submit. There you go. The post got created successfully. If I go to home page, I can see that the new um, content already exists there. Now let's go check the Spanish language website and see if that exists. There you go. So we are on the AWS console and we are inside the S3 bucket the website uses to upload the files. We have two folders in it. One is EN and ES. EN is for English, ES is for Spanish. Inside EN, you will see two files, uh, text files. These files contain the actual blog post content itself. This is in English. And if you go to ES, there are two files. These files contain the actual uh, blog post content in Spanish. Let's go to Lambda and see how Lambda function is configured. Translate batch is the Lambda function that we use here. You can see that S3 has been already configured to uh, trigger uh, the Lambda function. Let's see what the S3 event is configured to. The event type is object created, which basically means anytime any file is uploaded to a folder uh, with prefix en, the event will be triggered, and that event will um, will cause the lambda function to start execution. Let's go see the translate batch lambda function here. We are going to see every property just as it is, as default for this demo purpose. We are going to focus on the um, IAM role that is associated for this function. Let's go to um, IAM homepage and uh, click on roles and let's search for lambda uh, exec and this is the IAM role that was associated. We'll click on that and it shows the policies. There are two policies associated with it. One is Amazon S3 full access and translate read only. Amazon S3 full access allows the lambda function to read and write objects into S3 bucket and translate read only allows the Lambda function to um, invoke the Amazon Translate service to perform translation from English to Spanish. All right, so we are in the uh, Lambda project, and this project has two uh, NuGet packages that I've added, the Amazon S3 library and the Amazon Translate library. These two packages are used for uh, translating the content and also uploading files to S3. Let's go to function.cs and see what it has. There's just one function, this one function handler here, which takes S3 event object as input and I lambda context object as another input. Here, we use Amazon S3 client class to invoke the get object async method by passing in the request object. And the request object itself uh, has bucket name and key. The bucket name and key uh, properties have been populated with values that came through S3 event object that came in as a parameter. We convert that to a memory stream and keep it ready for further processing. We use Amazon S Amazon Translate client class and do the uh, translation process. Here, we go through the list of languages that we need to convert to. In this case, we have uh, only, in only Spanish, so this for loop will be executed just once. In this, we invoke translate text async method uh, and pass in translate text, text request class, which has text, source language code, and target language code as parameters. The text co contains the actual content that needs to be translated, 
And here we're saying this, the source language is English and the target language is uh, Spanish. Then we, we invoke put object async method of the S3 client class and pass in the put object request object in it. So um, that object itself has content body, bucket name, and key as parameters. So the content body is the content that, uh, that was translated. In this case, it's Spanish. The bucket name will be the bucket name that we identified from the S3 event parameter. And the key uh, would be um, ES, because it needs to go to the ES folder. So we are replacing that string EN with ES. And uh, this whole, the, the larger string that came from the S3 event parameter. And that's about it, it returns complete. And um, you can easily deploy this Lambda function by going to um, Solution Explorer, right click and publish to AWS Lambda and clicking on uh, Next, just following through the wizard and uh, clicking on Upload. That's it, the project is on its way to deployment. In this video, we covered how to use Amazon Translate service through .NET. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.